recording? Okay. Oh, it, it starts recording when I start talking. That's that's beautiful. All right. So as you can see, I made it bigger because I can't read very well. So dyslexia has a little bit to do with it, and wearing glasses has a little bit to do with it. But mostly, I'm just bad at reading. And I'm not even gonna try that author notes again. So, chapter six. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black mini skirt that was all ripped around the end and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high-heeled boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I paint, spray painted my hair with purple. Oh my god, that would be awful. Your hair would be like, hey, be hard as a rock. In the great hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal. <laughs> with blood instead of milk, of course, and a glass of red blood, as opposed to what color blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard, I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up, because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. Oh, you so you regret saying it because he's good looking is what you're telling me. I don't care, he's a douchebag if he bumps into you. I mean, not necessarily on purpose. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm sorry. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down in his face and he was wearing black lipstick. Oh, let me try that again. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. Okay. He didn't have glasses anymore. Wait, am I supposed to know that he is wearing glasses? And now he was wearing red contact lenses, just like Draco's, and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. I bet this is Harry! He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. Aren't you all from England? Like, does it... Well, now I have to read his voice with a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. Okay. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him kind of like an erection only I'm a girl so I didn't get one you sicko <laughs> all right let's see if I can do the sexy English accent I'm so sorry he said in a shy voice that's all right what's your name I questioned my name's Harry Potter although most people call me vampire these days he grumbled <laughs> what <laughs> why I exclaimed because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. Sorry, I, I gotta giggle at Because I love the taste of human blood. <laughs> well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really, he whimpered. Yeah, yeah, I roared. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me. So I went away with him. End chapter. Chapter 7. Suddenly they have names. Bring me to life. I wonder where that came from. Author note. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. Mm, BTW. I won't write the next chapter till I get ten god bonds. Like, are you even trying? Stow flaming or ill report you. Ebony. Ebony? Who's Ebony? Isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satanit. Satanit. And she has problems. She's depressed, for God's sake. Okay. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist things on my Satanist things on my nails in red nail polish yeah, you said red Satanist things in red nail polish I get it author note oh, Jesus Christ. see does that sound like lick a uh, Mary Sue to you I don't know I mean please stop calling her characters Mary Sue because she goes even in more detail every time I waved to Vampire. Vampire's Harry Potter, right? Yes. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Because he wants to go out with Draco? Is it one of those stories? 
Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then... We started punching passively. Passively? Jeez, that sounds passionate. And we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. But <laughs> you're punching passively, okay. He felt me up before I took off my top. Then I took off my black leather bra. I don't know how I feel about a leather bra. And he took off his pants. But didn't you already say you took off each other's clothes? Okay. We went on the bed and started making out naked. And then he put his boy's thingy <laughs> in mine. <laughs> you know, watch your pronouns there. In your what? In your boy thingy? <laughs> and we had sex! <laughs> See, is that stupid? I don't know if anybody thought it was. Oh, Draco! Draco! I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo. I had never seen before on Draco's arm. That would completely distract me from an orgasm. It was black heart. It was a black heart, sorry, with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words "vampire." I was so angry. Why? I mean, that could mean anything. Just because. Oh, great! I thought it was the end of the chapter. It's not. I was so angry. Yes, you bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no! But you don't understand, Draco pleaded. But I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. <laughs> oh my god, this is homophobic. <laughs> I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Dranko ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what. But I was too mad to care. Obviously, <laughs> why, well, you, would, you could, you know, mention that his you-know-what was bigger earlier then. I stop, or unless you're like implying that he was trying to entice you back into the bedroom with his big you know what. <laughs> I stomped out and s did so until I was in Vampire's classroom, when where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. You know, they don't matter. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! I yelled. <laughs> Ay, boy. <laughs> Chapter eight. Author note, stop flashing, blasting, blasting? Alright, stop blasting, okay? If you do, then you are a prep. Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and starting started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think, Draco screamed sadly. My friend, bloody nurse, bloody with an apostrophe, smiled at me and understatedly understatedly she flipped her long waist length gothic black hair why does every girl have except for obviously blonde bitch Hillary Duff her long waist length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on <laughs> so her eyes looked like crimson that you had what no Blood that had crimson contact lenses on? She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents... Like, who the fuck's Hermione then? Why are you calling her Hermione if her name is Bloody Mary Smith? I'm, I mean, I'm assuming this person you're talking about is Hermione and you just didn't switch to Hermione randomly. Her real parents are vampires. And one of them is a witch. Here we go with the witch vampire thing. But Voldemort killed her mother and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it and she's very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she has converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. Gryffindor, sorry. I mean, I like how this is pretty much the author saying, I'm changing the world, just... Just so you know, it's supposed to be this, but it's now this. Like, don't don't tell me that. Let's just let me assume it is. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco. Wait, cheated on me with Draco? Like, was she going out with Vampire? I shouted at him. 
gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. Whoa, wait a minute. Did, did I miss something? Did we change? All of a sudden we're talking about... Who's, whose point of view is this? I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire. I'm by, and so is Ebony. How did you know that? Who are you? I'm assuming you're Draco? For a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped- Oh, so there should be like quotation marks around this. Maybe? No, there shouldn't. The fuck? Give me some kind of warning, man. Uh, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany. A stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems. Now he was gothic. Haha, <laughs> like I would hang out with a prep. Ooh, that made sense. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard, I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the forbidden forest, where I had lost my... <laughs> <laughs> where I had lost my virility to Draco and then started to burst into tears. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. 